It's showtime! Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today, I'm very excited. This is like, since, what, 1989, 1990, they never made action figures for Beetlejuice the Animated Series, and lo and behold, finally, we've, uh, we've come to it. But yes, Beetlejuice the Animated Series, part of the Loyal Subjects Best Action line, you can see the artwork, from the animated series, all over the box, and on the back of the box is a, uh, a nice write-up, nice bio. Uh, it tells you about how Beetlejuice likes to eat files and beetles. I had to point that out, but a really nice rendering of the action figure. Comes with multiple accessories. More on that later, and here's the barcode as well. Just as a heads up, these are starting to hit Walmart store shelves now, but you might run into a snag where it doesn't register within the system. So just as a heads up, it, there shouldn't be a street date, but they're just, for whatever reason, not in the system. So uh, yeah, just take it to customer service and have them fix it. Beetlejuice, the movie. I'm sure you've all seen it by now. Well, did you know? Yeah, they made an animated series. Yeah, that <laughs> was terrifying as a kid. It's a very silly show as well, right? The artwork, everything else, based, of course, uh, Michael Keaton. But uh, yeah, they took liberties with the animated look for Beetlejuice. I think it came out well. But like I said, they never made action figures specifically for Beetlejuice the Animated Series. They had Burger King toys, which were basically like a dog chew toy with Beetlejuice on the back and one of the several uh, animated characters on the front. So, uh, yeah, it drove me nuts as a kid because, yeah, you did have the Kenner stuff, which, yeah, that'll pop up in here as well. But the animated series uh, yeah, is just very special. Really wish they would have made toys. And like I said, here we are now. So, definitely been looking forward to this. We'll check it out, see how it is. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of Beetlejuice. This is a look at the brand new The Loyal Subject's Best Action Beetlejuice, the animated series Beetlejuice. And while I got all you neither world residents here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it because this is everything in the box for Beetlejuice, the animated series' best action figure. You do get pretty nifty Beetlejuice-inspired top hat, right? It's got all the different whites, black stripes all over it. For the most part, it's painted okay. The, the plastic is a little rough here and there, to be quite honest with you. But you can see the little divots right there that fits onto his head. I'll show you all that. He comes with his cane, which is a nice looking cane. It's just not painted very well at all. Very blotchy, very runny. It's unfortunate. Black and orange for this cane. But yeah, as you can see straight from the animated series, uh, this is where these two accessories come from, even uh, the front of one of the DVD boxes, so you can definitely recreate that. And if you like, he comes with a beetle. I really like that he comes with a beetle. I think that that's very cool because, uh, yeah, they're always different colors, but yeah, sure, green totally works, but he's always reaching in uh, his pockets or putting one in his pocket, like, ah, save that one for later, you know what I mean? Like, that's pretty cool. And then you have the most random accessory ever, right? This one is just like, Okay, yeah. This one is particular is from the episode Bizarre Bizarre, and it's a bottle of sulfuric acid. But for starters, on the bottle, it's missing the H2SO4, which is the molecular formula for sulfuric acid. Also, the top of the bottle. But like me, if you're wondering, like, why, you know, just in general, why, the episode has Lydia trying to record certain elements for a haunted house, and uh, Beetlejuice, or BJ, <laughs> yeah, they say that a lot, uh, he pulls out a bottle of sulfuric acid and dumps it on the floor so that Jacques, the skeleton guy, can fall through and she gets the recording of uh, a skeleton's breaking up. It's a totally random accessory. Must be a fan favorite uh, episode for the creators. But yeah, it's missing a whole heck of a lot. The top of the bottle, it's missing the molecular formula on it. It's just a totally random accessory. Moving on. You have multiple hands for Beetlejuice, all of which definitely work. Some more open hands, closed hands, things of that nature. But this one in particular is, is exceptional right here. I actually really like this. Now, on the back of the box, 
it does say that this Beetlejuice is supposed to come with a sandworm, right? Which, again, from the animated series, it's that look, totally works. If you look at the different mock-ups for these characters, right? So they have Lydia coming out. And for Lydia, let's say more in her spider garb, uh, she was supposed to come with Ginger the spider. And then also Lydia in her regular uh, human world clothes, let's say, was also slated to come with Ginger the spider. But it looks like they've changed things, which... Gotta be honest with you, it's kind of a cool two-pack, and uh, this figure definitely has a lot going for it in terms of, one, the paint, which is really well done. Also, the fact that it looks exactly like Ginger the Spider, right, down to the colors, and on top of everything, it's an articulated figure. So, it fares the best, as we'll soon see. Paint, articulation, the overall look, attention to detail, everything else. So you can see, yeah, the legs, the three prong legs don't move. The head moves, right? So it's on a ball joint, which, hey, you get a lot of rotation out of it. So it's pretty cool. But as simple as it is, it's a great representation of the character from the animated series. So I got to give it to him all day. And uh, yeah, you'll see why in just a second. Because with Beetlejuice, right? Man, oh man. I told you before, so excited to finally have figures based on Beetlejuice, the animated series. But this one, is there's a lot they got right, right? There's a lot. I mean, the sculpt itself is beautiful. That's Beetlejuice from Beetlejuice, the animated series. However, the paint is not the best on this. The look, the skin tone color, you know what I mean? Everything is just... A little bit off here and there but in all honesty my main gripe is going to be the paint because it's very sloppy every which way like i said the sculpt is there that is definitely beetlejuice from the animated series but when you start kind of going down and looking at everything in particular the whites the blacks everything i mean for the most part we'll say this they all line up in terms of everything the beetle boots those look good definitely dig that but there's a lot of, well, yeah, that was an odd choice, right? Because there's a lot of bleed over. There's, you know, for the most part, the face kind of works out the best. But there's some missing paint for the eyebrow. The mouth is okay. I just wish the teeth looked like they did on the back of the box. That would have been really cool. But as you can see inside, the neck has a big black mark right there. The black bleeds into the shirts, the tie, it's, yeah, it's unfortunate because, I mean, even the white. The white is the worst of it because it's painted over the black. It gets very muddled, you know what I mean? It's it's that sort of deal. I'm not going to go into, like, oh, the joints should be painted and all that kind of stuff because you can see it just from here. Yeah, should have been, but uh, it's, it's, not, it's the least the figure's problems in that sense. However, I'm going to tell you this. The articulation is what it is for me. I don't mind. I'm not one of those where I go, ah, you know what I mean, I'll tell you this, if it was just this figure as it is and the arms and the legs moved, I would have been totally happy. The head barely moves. You kind of go left and right. He does have a really weird cut, I will tell you. At the abdomen, it breaks up the sculpt entirely too much. They could have left that out. He does have butterflies. He's got double jointed elbows, which, hey, that works for me. Totally don't mind that. You can get a lot of great poses. You can feed himself the beetle, all that kind of stuff. So that works. And the hands will rotate. They'll move back and forth. So no problems whatsoever in terms of the hands shoulders the arms if anything he sort of spins at the waist right more so that's basically it in terms of that the legs right you have thigh swivel it does get very gappy unfortunately he basically just kind of kicks off to the side he does have double jointed knees but that's really the range of motion you're going to get and the boots will just swivel now unfortunately on mine on this side the leg if you go up too high the leg pops off so that's <laughs> That's another problem. I'm trying to tell you, as I love the fact that they made animated stuff, but you know, this it could have been better. Let's let's just be quite honest, because ah, all these years we've been waiting for this stuff, right? And I'll tell you in all honesty, the pink of his skin, it's the wrong shade for Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is more of a off-white purple, sort of like dead guy color, and it's entirely too pink for his skin. But uh, in terms of holding all the accessories, I really have no problems with that. That's for sure. Like I said, you can have him holding the beetle and I especially love that he comes with a hand with the pinky out, right? The <laughs> 
That's pretty cool. Also, the fact of having him hold the cane and the hat goes on his head. You can do the whole thing where he's, you know, it's showtime. That's basically the look for Beetlejuice right there. So all the accessories work, including the wackadoo bottle of acid, which it should have had the writing on it. It should have had the lid. It should have had all that kind of stuff. That's what I'm going to say. And in terms of the mismatched figure, right, it's supposed to be a sandworm, as the box says, but you get Ginger the spider. I'll totally take Ginger over the sandworm. If the sandworm was like 20 inches tall, something like that, we'd be talking. But a baby sandworm, I mean, it fits in terms of one of the episodes. But Ginger the Spider is definitely a whole heck of a lot cooler. But if you were wondering how he scales with all the old Kenner toys, it actually goes pretty dang good. Especially with Beetlejuice's grave, right? He can stand next to it and examine it. He can even fit inside the box, right? It's pretty cool. See, that's I'm on the fence about this because as long as I've wanted these, right? Ever since the Kenner stuff, I mean, he goes well with that. It's scale wise, I mean, it's kind of off all over the place, but yeah, it goes in terms of like the wackadooness. So, of course, if you wanted to put all these together along with the recent uh, NECA Toonie Terrors one, sure, it all goes together. Heck, if even if you wanted to put him with Elvira for the Toonie Terrors. And that definitely works. And for those of you that like to see everything scale with Marvel Legends, definitely looking forward to a Lydia figure. But here's my honest thoughts on this figure. I have wanted a Beetlejuice the Animated Series figure for years. So I do appreciate this figure exists. I like this figure. But for those of you who are one, not Animated Series fans, this is going to be a total skip. But this is a good tide me over until a better one comes out and honestly for the loyal subjects i'm i'm rooting for you guys i want to see you guys do great stuff this is not cutting it we need better paints we need better articulation you're boasting it's the best of everything we need to see more of that because of right now if this is any inclination no it's it's definitely not so that's really gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new the loyal subjects best action Beetlejuice figure and as always I am curious to know what you guys think about this figure what do you guys think about the animated series as a kid real Ghostbusters Beetlejuice it was always a cartoon express all that kind of stuff I love the animated series so again as I'll say this is a good tide me over until we get a better version and in all honesty, I'd like to see the loyal subjects with best action definitely step it up. But as a lot of other people have said too, maybe see another company take their crack at it. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I kid you not, in my research for this figure, just to find some photos, Beetlejuice actually guest starred on an episode of Teen Titans Go. Go watch it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. And when you do... Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.